tale characters in ascending order of how many of them there are. Cinderella's Ugly Sisters, Dick Whittington's Cat, Goldilocks, Bear, Snow White, Swartz. Shaking their heads. Let's <laughs> see what happened. Um, I think it's fairly straightforward. I thought it was. Going up, Dick Whittington had one cat. Uh, Cinderella had two ugly sisters. Goldilocks had three bears. And Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So that's the right answer. Now, did ten out of ten get it right? I don't think from their faces that all ten got it right at all. No, they didn't know. It was fastest. Uh, Dave Schofield in 4.38 seconds. Hello, <laughs> Dave. Right, here we go again in the hot seat after just one phone call. It's Dave Schofield, glass company manager from Liversedge, West Yorkshire. Up in the audience is his wife Helen looking, booting you down on him. They have a daughter, Cameron, and Dave has two other kids, Joel and Brooke. With a big win, Dave would love a second home in the south of France and a boat to go with it. Is that... Now, Dave, or may I call you numpty, um, this is question number one. Nobody has ever, ever, ever failed on this question. Well, two people very nearly failed on this question. Nobody's ever actually quite managed it. Which piece of furniture is often used to seat a baby at meal time? High sofa, high chair, high couch, high chaisel. High chairs. <laughs> it's the right answer, you have one hundred thousand. Right. We're through the worst, Dave. Now, question number two is for 200 quid. Let's go. Which of these is a type of automatic reaction? Knee slap, knee jerk, knee bend, knee twist. Knee jerk. It's the right answer. You've got 200 pounds. <laughs> Okay, let's try and raise you up to at least 1,000, but as we always say, they're only easy if you know the answer. If you don't, they're impossible, but you have three lifelines. Question number three is for 300 quid. What name is given to a single gemstone in a piece of jewellery? Singlet, solo, solitaire, singleton. Solitaire. It's the right answer, you got 300 pounds. <laughs> Question number four is for 500 quid. Here it comes. Which of these means small but fashionable and elegant? Bilby, Bifit, Bijou, Bidet. Think. What do I think? Sorts of things. Are you sure? Sure? No. <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer, you got 500 pounds. Dave, you've got uh, three lifelines untouched. Question number five would guarantee you £1,000. If you go for it, give me the right answer. Here it comes, question number five for £1,000. Which of these words describes someone who says very little? Taciturn, glib, crotchety, perilous. Glib. No. No. Well played. Yes. 
Yes, on a bed. Final answer. Final answer. Dave? It is the wrong answer. Someone who says very little is taciturn. Oh, Dave! Chris. I you should have got it wrong on first one. Well, you would have been the numpty of the north. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dave! Halfway there. You had three life flowers. I know, I know, I should have used them. I know. Oh, <laughs> Alright, give him a big hand. <laughs> oh, Dave! Dave! I haven't happened for a long time. Dave Schofield goes home to Liver's Edge empty-handed. Right, let's try again. We have nine contestants left to play fastest thing. First, nice and quiet, please, in the audience. Here comes the next wave. You've got uh, three lifelines untouched. Question number five would guarantee you £1,000. If you go for it, give me the right answer. Here it comes. Question number five for £1,000. Which of these words describes someone who says very little? Taciturn. Glib. Crotchety. Perilous. Clint. Sure. No. Want to play? Yes, I want to play. Final answer. Final answer. Dave. It is the right answer. You got three hundred pounds. Question number four is for five hundred quid. Here it comes. Which of these means small but fashionable and elegant? Bilby, Bifit, Bijou, Bidet. Question number two is for 200 quid. Let's go. Which of these is a type of automatic reaction? Knee slap, knee jerk, knee bend, knee twist. Knee jerk. It's the right answer. You got 200 pounds. <laughs> OK, 
kind of struggle if you got to at least 1,000, but as we always say, they're only easy if you know the answer. If you don't, they're impossible. But you have three lifelines. Question number three is the 300 quid. What name is given to a single gemstone in a piece of jewellery? Singlet. Solo. Solitaire. Singleton. Solitaire. Here we go again in the hot seat after just one phone call. It's Dave Schofield, Glass Company Manager from Liversedge, West Yorkshire. Up in the audience is his wife, Helen, looking bootingly down on him. They have a daughter, Cameron, and Dave has two other kids, Joel and Brooke. With a big win, Dave would love a second home in the south of France and a boat to go with it. If now, Dave, or may I call you numpty? Um, this is question number one. Nobody has ever, ever, ever ever failed on this question? There were two people very nearly failed on this question. Nobody's ever actually quite managed it. Which piece of furniture is often used to seat a baby at meal times? High sofa, high chair, high couch, high chaise -or. High chairs. 